Hey, good morning to you, friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. So glad that you've dropped by on this fine morning. And hopefully the Lord will give you a little bit of encouragement along the way. Often in the line of work that I am in, pastoring people and dealing with folks, counseling folk, I deal with folks who feel like they're in impossible situations. It may be financial reverses or physical ailment. It may have to do with the family structure and what they're going through in their marriage or with their children. And all the odds seem to be stacked against them and they feel as if there is no hope because uh, to correct the situation seems to be an impossibility. But let us remind ourselves of what the Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew 19, 26, Mark 10, 27, and Luke 18, 27. Christ basically says the same thing. Jesus beheld them and he said unto them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. We serve the God of possibility. We do not live as children of faith in an impossible world. Jesus went on to make this statement in Matthew 17, verse 20. He said, because of your unbelief, I was unable to do this. He said, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing, nothing shall be impossible unto you if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed. However, the Lord Jesus gave a follow-up statement in verse number 21 when he said, how be it, this kind cometh not or goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. In other words, it's not just a, a belief in the head that all things are going to be possible for you, but there is labor to the possible and impossible, and that labor comes through prayer and fasting. How's your prayer life? And uh, I, I dare I even ask about your fasting life before God. Henry Ford had this ingenious plan of building an engine that we now call the, the V8. There are several Ford V8 engines that are famous. Now, the Ford 427, the 5.0 high uh, output or HO, uh, the 5.0 Coyote, the Boss 302. We could go on and name several Ford V8 engines that are famous uh, in, in their day and still yet uh, coveted. But when, when Henry Ford came up with the idea of the Ford V8, he went to his engineers at Ford and said, this is what I want built. And they said, it's impossible, no way. So he said, I, I don't care that you think it's impossible. I'm paying you to get this job done. Now get busy, build this engine. Well, they labored and labored. He came to them in six months and said, what's the progress? They said, no progress. This is impossible. He said, keep working. All things are possible. They worked for another six months and Henry Ford came back to them and said, all right, show me this new V8 engine. They said, we've worked and worked. It's impossible. There's no way to get this to work. This is at the end of a year, and Henry Ford says, continue on, all things are possible. And as we know it, history tells the tale, the V8 engine came to be. Why? Because there was no quit, there was a continuance. A lot of times, we pause short of the possible. Don't sell yourself short by pausing short of the possible. Think on these things today, friend. Have yourself a great cup of coffee and a grand day.